Babes, how you doing today? Good, great, amazing. So if you can read, then you know what this video is going to be. This is another George Carlin video and it's our, our similarities. Similarities, why can't I talk today? George Carlin on our similarities. So again, this is another requested video. So yeah, I'm just gonna move over, press play and shut up. Now, to balance the scale, I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together. Things that point out our similarities instead of our differences. Because that's all you ever hear about in this country, is our differences. That's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about, the things that separate us, things that make us different from one another. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money fairly simple thing happens to work. You know anything different, that's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. <laughs> now I describe the economic and social classes in this country, the upper class keeps all of the money, pays none of the taxes. The middle class pays all the taxes, does all the work. Keeps none of them. The poor are there, just to scare the shit out of the middle class. <laughs> Keep them showing up at those jobs. Like, this could be you. <laughs> so, so, stirring up the shit is something I like to do from time to time, but I also like to know that I can come back to these little things we have in common. Little universal moments that we share separately. The things that make us the same. They're so small we hardly ever talk about them. Do you ever look at your watch? And then you don't know what time it is. <laughs> and I have to look again. And I still don't know the time. So you look at the third time and somebody says, what time is it? You say, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Do you ever notice how sometimes all day Wednesday, you keep thinking it's Thursday? <laughs> that happens over and over all day long. And then the next day, you're all right again. Right. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself standing in one of the rooms in your house and you can't remember why you were yes. in there? Yes, yes, yes. Why did you come with me? And two words flow across your mind, Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> you ever been talking oh, I to yourself and somebody comes in the room and you have to make believe you were singing? I can't. <laughs> And you hope not the other person really pleased there's a song called What Does She Think I Am? Some Kind of Putz. <laughs> Little experiences we've all had. You ever been sitting in a railroad train in a station and there's another train sitting right next to you and one of them starts to move and you can't tell which one it is? Yes! Oh my God! <laughs> How about when you're out on a small boat on a windy day? You ever been out rocking back and forth for three or four hours trying to keep your balance? Rough seas, little boat, then you get back into the shore and you're standing on the dock and you can swear there was something inside of you that was still out there rocking. <laughs> you ever try to pick up a suitcase you thought it was full, but it wasn't? <laughs> and you go, Doo. And for just a split second you feel really strong. <laughs> How about when you're looking through a chain link fence? Do you ever notice if you're just the right distance from a chain link fence, sometimes it seems to go <laughs> What is that? <laughs> How do they do that? How do they do that? Do you ever try to tell somebody they have a little bit of dirt on their face? They can never get them to rub the right spot. Yes! Oh my god! Say, you got a little bit of dirt right here. And they rub their right so side. Where? Here? And you just want to slap the bastard. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm like, where did I point? If I point here, I mean here. If I point here, I mean here. Like. <sighs> Do you ever notice how awful your face looks in a mirror in a restroom that has fluorescent lights? Every cut, scrape, scratch, scar, scab, bruise, boil, bump, pimple, zip, wart, welt, and abscess you've had since birth. All seem to come back at the same time. <laughs> and what you think of is, I gotta get the fuck out of here! 
<laughs> right. You make me look ugly. Showing out all my flaws. Do you ever notice sometimes when you're walking with your arm around your date, one of you has to change the way you're walking? Men and women don't walk the same. One of them has to change. Either the man has to walk like this. <laughs> Or the woman has to walk like this. <laughs> Joey, how are you? <laughs> uh. How about when you're going up a flight of stairs and you think there's one more step? Yes! Oh my god! And you go... <laughs> when you're going you down? You kind of keep doing that, you know? <laughs> so people will think it's something you do all the time. <laughs> I do this all the time. It's the third stage of syphilis. <laughs> God. Same thing happens when you're going down the stairs. Yes. You could swear there was one more one step. One more step. <laughs> Holy shit. My hips are in my chest. Fruit juice in the morning. Do you go like this? Oh, well, yeah, it's your taste buds activated and shit. I do too. Why or orange drink juice. It? It's like ice cream throat. I can't. You know when you've eaten ice cream too fast and you get that frozen spot in the back of your throat? No. You can't do anything about it because you can't reach it to rub it? No. You just have to kind of wait for it to go away? And no. Does, then what do you do? Eat more, Eat more ice cream. cream. <laughs> Do you ever fall asleep on a late afternoon and wake, wake up, up after, after dark, dark and you don't know what goddamn day, day it is? It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like when you have your head on the pillow. Do you ever notice when you have your head on the pillow, if you close the, if you close the bottom eye, the pillow is down there. <laughs> and if you switch eyes, the pillow moves up there. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit, Does babe, it? look at this. The oh, mystery yeah. of the moving pillow. It's because of your I eyes, that's normal. It's chain link fence mystery, my son. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have to sneeze while you're taking a piss? No. It's frightening, isn't it? It's frightening because actually you can't do it. I was about to say. It's physically impossible to sneeze while pissing. What would that even Your feel like? Your brain won't let it happen. Your brain says, stop pissing! <laughs> We're going to sneeze now! Because your brain knows you might blow your asshole out. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that was so funny! Okay, I think that was like my favorite one so far. Oh, forget what I said in the four groups that gotta go video. This, our similarities, is definitely my favorite one to date. He had me like laughing like the entire, entire video. But oh man, a lot of those things though, like, isn't it crazy how we all. I mean, some of that stuff, like, of course, we're all going to experience it. Like, the thing about the pillow, like, obviously, your eyes are at two different levels. So, if you close one eye, everything's going to look different. Like, it moved all of a sudden. But, um, that's really crazy how, like, we all do, like, the same stuff. It's like, you would almost think we, like, we all live the same life. Because so much stuff, like, we all do it. Anyways, I feel like I just said, like... 8,000 times and I know I say it a lot anyways, but that felt like a lot <laughs> Anyways, comment down below What other videos comedy or not George Carlin or not Bill Burr or not doesn't matter comment down below Any other videos you want to see me react to next with that being said don't forget to like I already said comment subscribe watch my other videos and I'll see you in the next one